Are you having a problem cutting up pants? Moreover, a pencil pant, a corporate pant for corporate wears. Here is the lesson for you. All you have to do to gain in this lesson is just to listen carefully, watch to the end, and your problem will be solved. So if you are new to this channel, it's not bad if you subscribe, like and share, turn on your notification to be notified in every update. It's welcome to Odense Fountains Fashion Center where fashion tips are revealed and fashion secret unfolded. Turn on your notification if you wish I maybe remind you or get you notified in my next update and subscribe if you are a new viewer um, and let's start the lesson proper. So in this lesson, I will be doing it in another dimension just like I have said. I will mark all the points I need, then I will explain bit by bit. That is the crotch point I marked. And this is the knee line I'll be marking as well. And I will mark the ankle line from the, all from the waist, I'm taking the measurements. Then I will mark the folding allowance. So after I'm done doing that, I will do the same thing, transfer the same measurements all, and I will roll a straight line. So I'll, I'm doing this so that those people that haven't been coping or understanding other lessons will understand very well here. I will rule all those lines before I explain. So that is the cross line I am ruling. I will rule all of them. So if you are a new viewer, just do well as you subscribe to this channel, like and uh, share this video. So that's the final line I'll be ruling for the explanation. Now, from the waist, how to calculate the basics from the waistline to the cross line is full length divided by four. From the waistline to the ankle, I mean uh, the crotch full length divided by four so from the waist to the knee is full length divided by two plus one and a half inches and from the waist to the ankle is full length minus half inches plus two inches folding allowance the half inches minus is because you are going to get it from the barn you are going to use if the band is one and a half to one one quarter so i impute the pocket size seven one quarter are you seeing seven one quarter and i went in by one inches from the margin to impute my lapse measurement the lapse measurement is 24 24 divided by two 24 divided by two it could be any lab measurement of your client so now from there i will come in where my finger is by two inches you see two inches and what i will do from that point my finger is to this point now divided by two so since it's 12 inches i will put six at the middle i'll divide it the middle and from that middle to the margin i will check what i have there Are you seeing so if what I have there is seven or seven one quarter, I will transfer it down to the knee as well as to the ankle measurement. That's how to have the midpoint of your trouser. So now what I have there is 13. So I will put the 13 in between that point I mark, that middle point. That is three one quarter on each side. To give me six and a half that is 13 so here i have 16 inches it means four is going to be on both sides to make it eight inches because the nail is always divided by two now for the waist i will calculate from that point my finger is that crotch to the end what do i have there just like i'm measuring i will see whatever i have there now i will minus one inches as i place the waist measurement 
so i have already minus one inches from there have you seen so and i place my tape to mark from where i marked i will impute my waist measurement waist measurement divided by four and i'll add one inches sewing allowance that is half inches for the zip side and half inches for the hip side so have you seen now what i will be doing is i will go down by three quarter of an inch from the zip side and i will use my french cuff after doing that to connect it to the hips line so i'll use my french cuff to connect all those points to give me the shape of my pants so remember to like this video if you find it very helpful that is the encouragement i need from you i will be dropping or sewing this trouser step by step if you check my playlist perhaps i'll be dropping the link below the description box just go there follow the link in case of uh, any other tutorials like how to draft uh, a button down shirt the senator shirt dan shiki check my playlist is it a suit or waistcoat uh hoodie dress i do them all they are all in my playlist i have multiple tutorials uh is it a bokeh hat face cap i have the lessons there just go there check them they'll be helpful so after i'm done doing that i will come to this angle here and measure one i mean three quarter of an inch out the angle then i will connect it to that point so are you seeing so i'll connect it like that and that is if if i connect this point that is the the drafting of the front pieces of a pant a pencil pant a corporate pant so before i forget let me impute the zip so that is six inches from there so this one is just for formality sake assuming you were asking why i didn't draw this middle line it's of no use because the midpoint already was gotten and was marked to use for that so that is how a pant trouser is supposed to look like that is going to have a good fitting without any SSCs or error. So now I have online classes though. If you wish to join, I will drop the link to my WhatsApp number or you can comment below the comment section. Then I will add you up. That's very, very essential because upgrade is a must if you must grow. So I'll be cutting the back side of this pants so you have to watch so that you have it right because cutting the back wrongly will give you all wrong answers remember this is a beltless trouser i am cutting a beltless trouser so three inches from there is what i marked i'll use my straight ruler to rule from that line straight so that i can impute my measurements this is a about less trouser so i'll go in by one quarter of an inch down with that three and a half inches stopped and i'll connect with the french cuff so i'm using the second line and the first line is counsel it's just used to achieve the second line for accuracy Two one quarter inches marked at the nail. Have you seen? So, and uh, in this middle of this muzzle and uh, the ankle is two two inches down. I will connect it with the French cuff. So, it's a bedless trouser. Just um, if you wish to learn from it, check my playlist. The lesson is uploaded there. Follow me on Facebook at MC Fountains of Reality. You will see me there on Twitter or then Shalom, on Instagram or then Shalom. 
So I marked two inches from the waistline and I connected it to that angle there. Uh, marking one and a half inches because it is a beltless trouser to give the real fittings one and a half up high above the normal waist and I connected it that way so I'll be cutting it out you see so check my tiktok account it'd be very helpful at a uh, human race i upload tips fashion tips there also human race so the waist i'll be cutting it when you come to the stitching of this beltless trouser so thank you for watching to this point, I'm grateful. See you in my next lesson. Subscribe, please. Subscribe.